In this video we'll be describing how infrastructure data provides automated protozoal compliance reporting. This plant has six filters and is required to meet the enhanced individual filter protozoal criterion. This is where we have the instruments with which we demonstrate compliance. Over here on the wall we have the turbidity analyzer, we have the turbidity analyzer's flow switch and on this side we have the filter outlet flow meter and also the filter outlet control valve. So we know that the filter is operational when this flow meter here um, is showing flow above a certain level and we also know um, that the filter is operating when this valve here is open beyond a certain position. So those two things together um, will tell us that the filter is in service. Uh, using this flow switch we can also determine if the reading that's coming off of the turbidity analyzer is valid. The frequency at which this instrument must be calibrated and verified is prescribed by the New Zealand Drinking Water Standards. This site is paperless, so all record keeping is done using infrastructure data. In this particular example, all an operator has to do is bring out their phone, um, open up the app, and scan the QR card. While the operator performs the verification or calibration, they fill out the form, and once they're complete, hit submit. Once the form has been submitted, it's automatically appended to the data. This is important because the maintenance event itself may have caused a transgression or a non-compliance, and because it's been automatically appended, you don't need to go looking anywhere through giant stacks of paper trying to find the evidence that you need to prove that the plant was compliant. And obviously this saves you a lot of time. This is what a Drinking Water Standards New Zealand monthly protozoa compliance report looks like in infrastructure data. We have a table over here. This has the compliance conditions for each filter for the month. This is a monthly compliance report. And everything is green. Now green is good. If we have greens across the board, we're compliant and we have up here that the report has passed. We run a traffic light system. So if any one of these conditions is red, it means it hasn't met its requirements. The condition will be red, the filter will be red, and the whole table turns red, and up here it will say report failed. We also have an amber condition. If you evidence all the failures, you go to amber. So it's a non-compliant but with evidence added exception reports. So we'll show you that in a moment. Also on the report we have a, a time series representation of the turbidity data and cumulative frequency data and some explanatory notes. On our time series data we show a ticker tape which has our maintenance activities so verifications and calibrations for the turbidity meters again a great way to demonstrate to your drinking water assessor that you are maintaining your instruments. If I want to look at other reports I go to the drop down list here and select the report I want. And that's loaded. That took probably less than a second, so we don't have to wait minutes to download reports. So in this instance we have an amber report. It says evidence provided for all failures. If we look at the table we can see that performance was actually pretty good. Uh, we've green across the board here, but the problem is missing minutes. We had 60 missing minutes on each filter. Now each one of these is hyperlinked I can click on these and it shows me exactly when the missing minutes occurred on the 28th at 2 a.m. in the morning. In this instance it was actually daylight savings so the clocks moved back an hour. Now this is a great way of collating your exception reports. For example if a three minute event occurs and it happened at the same time when a maintenance activity on your turbidity meter occurred this will automatically be pulled in here so you don't need to go looking for those records so that saves a huge amount of time and it organizes the data and your exception reports into one place which makes it like easy for you and it also makes it easy for your drinking water assessor if you'd like to know more drop us a line and we can organize a demonstration